Hey guys, Eric Kyle here, publisher of Great Lakes Scuttlebutt Magazine, and I'm excited to be down to the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show in one of my favorite cities in this whole planet, Fort Lauderdale, Florida. This is by far my favorite show of the whole year. I love this show. And while I'm here, I'm looking around for some new and exciting information to report on. And I ran across our friends over at WorldCat. I'm here with Dave Tuckler. Dave, how are you, my man? Hey, good to see you. It's always a pleasure to see you. You've got some exciting news of what's going on at WorldCat. Share with us just a little bit about what's happening nowadays. Yeah, we are introducing our 280 center console. Mm. It represents a departure from where we've been in the past mm. to try to be as competitive as possible with other uh, premium boats out there. Mm -hmm. um, it, uh, it features a new design, new profile, and a lot of new features. Well, this is a very sexy boat for a center console. I really like this, and it's a catamaran. That's the incredible thing about these World Cats. Tell us about why somebody would be interested in the catamaran style of a boat over a monohull boat. Well, catamaran, the, the main thing that everyone always mentions, and you really don't appreciate it until you've been on it, is the ride. The yeah. ride, it will cut through chop, two, three, four foot chop. Mm -hmm. You won't know that it's there. It, you do not get the pounding you would with a mono hull. Mm -hmm. um, the tunnel between the two hulls creates a cushion of air and water. So then when you do eventually need to come down, it cushions it. Uh, it is remarkably stable. It's the difference between standing on two legs and trying to balance on one. Right. <laughs> uh, and because it has the beam carried all the way forward, right. you're gonna get the same beam towards the front of the boat as you do in the middle of the boat, which means you have a lot more space on the boat. So it's not only about stability though. I've got to imagine with running on these two holes, it's gonna be less friction on the water, therefore improve fuel economy. Right, you are spreading the same displacement mm -hmm. over a larger surface, and physics say that's gonna lift the boat up a little bit. It's a yeah. semi-planing hull. Uh, it takes less energy to push the boat, and so you'll get greater fuel economy. I love that. I love that. Well, you see, up in the Great Lakes, our waves, they call, some people call them box waves because they're like, you know, three, four footers, and they're only 15 feet apart as compared to 15 yards apart. So you're negotiating one by the time you're off of the other one. So a catamaran would just make it a lot more smoother ride and energy efficient. Oh, absolutely. And I spent, I lived on the shores of Lake Michigan for 30 years. Uh, so I know those waters really well. Yeah. Uh, catamarans are waiting uh, to really take hold mm -hmm. in the Great Lakes because they're perfect to really extend the season. Oh, you yeah. can go out, it will handle chop, it'll handle rough weather better than mono hull. Oh yeah. Uh, and so you will be able to not only go on more days, but extend the season, which is key in the Great Lakes. Well, it's a perfect Great Lakes boat. And the thing that I really like about these catamarans as well is they're sexy. They're not the old box style type thing you put out on the water. This is a really sexy looking boat. Tell me about this new boat model. What, what kind of engineering went into this? Yeah, it's a little bit tricky because you can't go down in the middle on yeah. the center console like you would in a, a mono hull. Right. Uh, what we tried to do is make it sleeker, look great in the marina, look great on a trailer. Mm -hmm. So what you'll see is um, we have a more sculpted shear line. Okay. So there's a break in the shear line right here, which we haven't had before. Ah. Uh, we have tried to reduce the deck above the rub rail so that it looks less tall right. while still keeping uh, the appropriate height inside the boat for safety because these boats are all about safety, yeah. all about security. Mm -hmm. um, we have incorporated a tumble home here aft, which further adds a little bit of flair and sex appeal, if you will, sure. to this kind of boat. And when you go around the front, you'll see that we've taken a completely novel approach uh, to dressing up the front of the boat, more like a Range Rover than <laughs> like a boat. So I like maybe that. you can see that I later. like that. Well, the interesting thing as well about these boats is, I've got to imagine with the catamaran design that the energy efficiencies on the engines, does it make the boat go faster with less power? Yes, in, in effect. Yeah. To get a certain speed, you need less horsepower right. to get there. Right, right. So um, it'll typically, I mean, people use wide open throttle speeds as sort of like your zero to 60 for a car, sure. when in reality, you're going to be cruising yeah. 25 to 30. Yeah. 25 to 30, you can't beat it. Right, I love it. Okay, so there's a lot of great lineup that you guys have over at WorldCat for different boat models. Tell me a little bit about, if I can't make it down to the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show, Dave, where am I going to go online to find out more information about this boat model and the other ones that you guys have to, to offer? Sure, thanks. And our model line 
which uh, goes from 23 foot, mm -hmm. uh, where the center console drafts just nine inches, mm -hmm. which is really kind of a bay boat. Wow. But it can go 50 miles offshore. It's right. a terrific hull. All the way up to a 32 foot dual console, um, which is just big as a ballpark yeah. inside. If anyone wants further information, they can go to our website, www.worldcat.com, okay. go to the models page, and they'll find all the information they need. Perfect. Now, this boat currently comes in a center console model. What's the future hold for this kind of design? We like to pair our center consoles with dual consoles, okay. so it would not be inaccurate to assume that at some point uh, it will have a brother in the dual console I configuration. Love it. I love it. Dave, you got such a wonderful product. Thanks so much for sharing your time with us today. I really Eric, appreciate it. Always a pleasure. Good luck with this boat. This is a beautiful boat. Guys, make sure you go by World Cat. Is it World Cat Boats? WorldCat.com. WorldCat.com. Find out all the information about a great lineup of boats and check out this new model. I'm sure you'll love it. Thanks so much for your time today, guys. We'll see you out on the water.